The example we just looked at, progressing from uh, the paper check to the digital wallet to the payments platform, is an example of evolution within the pay tech area of fintech. Earlier, uh, we split traditional financial services along the lines of pay tech, capital tech, and invest tech. And I would like to elaborate on that description to provide a fuller picture. Here's the definition I gave for fintech, and, um, and an important word in that definition is enhance, because it suggests that fintech is in essence about improving something that already exists. And this is true, but there is another term that crops up in the discussion of modern finance and one I alluded to earlier. That term is tech fin, with the order of the syllables reversed. In general conversation, often we do not make the distinction between fintech and tech fin. I believe it is worth doing so, at least uh, when being introduced to this space, because doing so gives us a fuller appreciation uh, of what constitutes modern finance. I define TechFin as follows. TechFin is the innovative use of technology to enable procedures for transferring, raising, and investing money and capital. The definitions differ only in a single word, enable replacing enhance. The significance of this is to change the emphasis from the application of technology to improve something that already exists to the application of technology to create something that did not previously exist. In other words, it exists only because of technology. In financial services, the classic example of tech fin would be Bitcoin. Bitcoin, cryptocurrency in general, did not exist before the global financial crisis in 2007 and 2008, which is the point in time we often attribute to the birth of modern finance. Indeed, the global financial crisis was very likely the key motivating factor for Bitcoin's invent invention. A statement to say that if the established system could not be trusted, then people were going to build a new financial system by themselves. And it was a potent shot across the bow to demonstrate that people had indeed the capacity to do so. Whatever the rationale, Bitcoin was indeed an amazing technological breakthrough. There had been many attempts before to create a decentralized digital currency, but all had fallen short in one way or another. Ironically, none of the constituent technologies that make up Bitcoin are new. Cryptography, distributed ledger technology, consensus protocols, all already in use in one field or another. The brilliance of Bitcoin was in putting all of this together to produce something that actually worked. Trust was engineered by design. No central authority, no monopoly on power and influence, a clear first in financial services. It would be fair to say that uh, it made the financial services establishment sit up and take notice. So this is tech fin, and this is the reason I make the distinction. Bitcoin heralded in an entirely new field of finance, crypto finance. Thousands of cryptocurrencies, tokens, and their blockchains currently exist. And whilst we don't have time to go into crypto fin in any detail here, it is fair to say that it has found its way into all three strands of fintech. Paytech, because Bitcoin was originally set up as a payment system rather than an attempt to replace fiat currency, as the names might suggest. Blockchain technology, the engine of Bitcoin, is now the backbone of novel ways to decentralize and democratize the raising of money. So it has found its way into capital tech too. Finally, Bitcoin and crypto generally is now a market commodity, a digital form of gold invested in more for speculative purposes than for its use as a functioning payment system. And the underpinning distributed ledger technology is the basis for modern ICOs rather than traditional IPOs. Thus, it now features strongly in Investec also. Another example of tech fin is artificial intelligence primarily in the form of machine learning. This has really taken hold in financial services, from robots giving potentially better advice than human financial advisors, to trading algorithms outperforming fund managers, to credit scoring algorithms pro proving highly effective at making successful lending decisions to people who traditional credit rating agencies referred to as subprime and would never have recommended to lenders. 
Artificial intelligence, of course, is not an invention of the financial services industry, but its application has led to the creation of incredibly value-adding financial services that could not exist without it. In particular, in bringing lending and investment to millions of people who were simply not profitable enough to matter to the old system. This again is TechFin.